I brought coffee. I brought coffee. So you can't be mad at me for not coming to work for two weeks, okay? Hey y'all, let's get into some spring nails. I'm definitely gonna try to stay on subject because this is a nail tutorial tutorial on how I did these particular nails on myself. If you find that I did something wrong, please keep it to yourself and make adjustments when you do your own nails. You know, like don't, don't. Girl, just have a good time, okay? Just have a good time. And that's what I did. I wanted to try something new. Um, I'd seen Portia Nail did um, do something similar to this with the marbling and the ombre and I haven't got there yet I'm still practicing but I think I did all right so I wanted to show y'all how I created this nail trying something new trying to color block or you know we'll make a color block Frenchie into a, an ombre like a fruit sorbet spring ombre so first thing I did was I put down my little nude uh, toned I like to call it my natural nail, my fake natural nail. It kind of looked like a natural nail bed, but it isn't. <laughs> so whatever tone that you'd like to use with your colors of ch your choosing, that's what I did. Some people don't crisp up their, their edges, but I wanted to crisp up my edge because I want this line to be super sharp. I didn't want to bore y'all with like five fingers of the same thing. This is just what I did on every nail. I just swapped out the colors. Um, so when you're putting this together, if you decide to do it, you know, hey, you can do it with any colors. Just make sure they kind of mix well together like they would on a color wheel and that they're all complementary. That's what I was going for here. And I feel like I somewhat achieved it. This was giving me ice cream like or sorbet and then Easter vibes, Easter egg vibes. So yeah, I am in love with these nails. So anyway, after I clean everything up, again, some people do not clean up. They just go on to their next color. But if you want things to be crisp looking and sharp, I'm going to suggest that you take the time to clean up in between the colors from the fake nail bed and the um, Frenchie line and under the Frenchie line and then everything else you don't have to worry about. Once I got my Frenchie line kind of like up there, it's just like doing a regular Frenchie, okay? I am using tips because on a form, I just felt like I was this was going to be too much and it was going to be too extra, girl. And I ain't had no time for that. You know, the girl is strapped for time these days. The girl is strapped, so she had to, and my nails are shorter. So I just went back to tips because the tips are basically the exact length of nail that I like wearing right now. And once I got the color, each color for the line that I wanted it to be, the Frenchie line, um, I did wait for it to dry. Um, if you just do this one nail at a time, like I did, okay? It's gonna take you a little time. So if you know the colors and you see this, try to kind of move on step by step don't don't be like candy candy was sitting here trying to figure out which nails was going to be on which so i was doing like two nails waiting on them to dry filing and you know but i was having a good time doing my nails i wasn't in no rush it, it, it still didn't take me that long probably like an hour to do these nails but i'm just saying if you do them one at a time then you have to wait on this to dry. You need to wait on that acrylic to dry so that you can sharpen up that nail, the, the um, Frenchie. Even when I was doing this child, I was over here moving a little too fast and started filing a little too early. And the acrylic said, we're not ready, not right now. But, but, but I pull it all together in the end. So tips for when you put this Frenchie, this color on, you're gonna make sure you bring it back up so that it flows like I'm doing right here into that line. And that way when you file it, girl, she is gonna be so sexy and clean and neat. Even when you file over the, um, now we're gonna say this mint color and you file it to make it flush with the, with the natural or nude tone of your choosing, or if you just do clear. Girl, that line is gonna be so sexy. Look at it, look at it. And that's why you wanna make sure you bring your stroke up when you're doing this Frenchie line. You might wanna think like, oh, I need to keep doing it down. I don't wanna blend up. Blend up and then file it even. And trust me, it's gonna look super like you. This, that's the secret move. Blend up and file down. When you don't, what'll happen is you'll have maybe sometimes a gap that fills in with clear, which still gives it a great effect if that's what you're going for. But for the effect that we're going, which is crispness, okay? Fresh, 
go on a crisp that thing up okay go on a crisp it and what swipe up all right now i got my colors on here and don't worry we're gonna get to some talking in just a minute girl just a minute let me just i want to tell y'all for real what i did with these nails because it's been a while once i got my colors up here um and i've let the frenchy dry okay the frenchy part is dry now i'm moving on to what i'm calling an ombre and i just picked two i'm not the best at ombre so i just picked complimentary complementary colors that once if they mix together it wouldn't look like mud it wouldn't look terrible and i'm using very wet beads swiping up um putting the concentrated color where i want it like i want the pink on this one to be like pink at the, super pink at the tips and then you know kind of lighter at the at the at the bottom girl so i think what i end up doing here is when i get my top and my bottom on i fill it with the um orange to kind of blend it in if that makes any sense i do my top my bottom bead for my ombre and then i put a bead in the center to blend those together kind of like eyeshadow somebody's gonna be like that's completely wrong again this is how I do my nails. I'm not sure how that if that's how it's done everywhere. That's just how I do I do it, and then I blend it all together, and it just it just come together for me, child. It look, look good to me, okay? It look good to me. Also, these are glass, G L A Z Z colors by Dynamic, which are also to me really great for learning how to ombre because they're trans they're a little bit translucent, so. Um, you don't see the harsh lines that sometimes happens when you have like not colors that aren't opaque like if you blend an orange and a red together and you don't swipe up and, bl and blur that line you'll see a line of red and then a line of orange so while you're learning um if you want to just mix some clear with your primary colors or whatever you're using try that that's worked for me is using these colors to learn how to blend and remember to swipe up and then that way even if i get done at the end these colors are kind of like juicy fruity icy candy colors so they kind of still end up looking good there's no real harsh lines like if i was just using a, a solid pink or a solid orange for this i'm still getting there i'm still learning i'm not um an ombre pro i don't want anyone to you know I, I this is beginner friendly i think i've only done ombre a few times and you've seen it on this channel every time but you know everything is practice makes perfect you keep doing it you learn okay last time i did this but for me i feel like these came out pretty damn good and i was really really proud of them um and they gave me i wanted like pastels i didn't want like super super rich colors i kind of want that spring lightness we're getting into um you know the season but everything hasn't bloomed so it's just kind of light and airy but i have never done this many colors on my nails i don't think all the acrylics i mean like i just have collected a lot of nail stuff and I am determined not to buy any more nail stuff. I'm using all the nail stuff that I've collected when I started my channel almost a year ago. So I've literally stopped buying nail stuff. And I'm trying to really, really, because I have so much stuff that I even forget about it. And I'm like, girl, what in the world is going on? Like, you don't even, you, I be opening stuff. It's like it's Christmas still. So I'm like, I don't want to keep ordering anything. I, do, I still have stuff that people sent me. I haven't had a chance to use. And these are the nails that I'm doing in the spring that are pushing me out of my comfort zone. A lot of colors, a lot of different techniques, things I've never tried before, things that I might mess up. I've never done any nails like this. This is my first attempt, I saw a picture, and then this is me trying to reinterpret that. So I will probably do these again. By the time I got to this nail, I was like, okay, I think I got it. And I really like the color combo. And I was like, dang, I should have done a whole set of this um, mint, orange, and pink. Cause doesn't that remind you of sorbet? See, I, it just goes together, girl. So y'all might see a set of these with the Frenchies or, you know, I might, I might switch it up, zhuzh it up a little bit. But that is essentially how I got, I did these. And then I put clear acrylic over everything. And I filed these puppies down. But look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I haven't even filed it yet. I haven't even just, I just took my time and put, and put my nail together, girl. And one thing I can say is, uh, working on forms has improved my application on tips because i've not used tips so it's the last time i used them on this channel girl so here they are matte um i ended up wearing the matte for like two days loved the matte and then when i 
am going to decorate them here. And I had, a, I was like, ooh, like I want to do a matte. So what I'm going to do is you will see the matte version in a short. I want this video to come out on time. Um, I don't want to be late and a liar. So um, I want the video to come out on time. You will get a chance to kind of see a glimpse of the matte, but I'm going to show the shiny version here. And then um, I'll do a short with the matte with different bling. Excuse me. Also, I'm minimizing my bling where I want bold bling, but like some, some I, 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 ugh, Candy, can you get it out? Can you get it out? Girl, jeez. Girl, did y'all hear me? Was it a stutter or was it a stumble? I just got to going, girl. I was on a good, I was on a roll. Now we got to reset. Child. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> I am trying to revamp my style for spring. Um, I normally do a lot of work and then cover it all up with bling. And I told myself, you're gonna tone it down. You're gonna tone it down so that you can show the acrylics and the bling and the style of the nail. Sometimes it's a lot, even for me, even though people love it and I love it too, for the spring, I just want cleaner nails. So, you know, it, there will be bling. Oh yeah, there will be some sh some shiny shit. Look how good I'm doing, not cussing, girl. Uh, but there will be some shiny shit. I'm just doing it to a more, you know, I'm, I'm moderating it, okay? I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it down just a tinge. And especially when you do something like this with a, a nail design that's just, to me, the acrylic stick. I really love the way this look. I was like, girl, I don't want to cover it with bling. I almost didn't even want to bling them at all. I just wanted to put, um, a mat or something or a clear over it to protect the nails and go on about my business because I had worn them for two days like this and I just really like them and I'm somebody that before my YouTube channel a lot of the times I would just wear my nails clear and buffed no matter how long they were they were mostly clear and buffed I like a good matte nail so I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone and I'm going to matte these although I do like them shiny I do like them shiny for this, I just feel like these look, y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all see them here, Matt, kind of. Let me know, and y'all see in that picture on my community tab. Real talk, let me know if y'all like these matte or shiny because it just gives a different vibe. It really, really does. And I'm gonna, I'm really excited to finish them up and do them again because I'm definitely wearing these nails for a good week and a half, two weeks. I, I love these nails. I want to do them over to do them better, but I am very proud of my first attempt and I would love for you guys to try, take this if you already know how to do this. And you know, girl, spring, yes, use your products. Use what you have, put that stuff together. NATO B is somebody who's, who loves every nail to be different. And I was somebody who's like, no, I need these to match. I need at least two, these two to match and these two to match and then the thumb can be different. So now to have every nail different, this was just like, I could have stopped right here and not put anything on them. And people would have been like, hey, your nails are done. But to me, you know, this is YouTube. We do a little bit extra. So if you want to try this on a shorter nail, you, girl, get you a Frenchie line and then get you, a, you don't even have to ombre the tip. You could do a solid tip. You know, you could do a hot pink and a purple. Just a, girl, try this for summer. Bring yourself out of your com com uh, comfort zone because that's what I'm trying to do. And also get re-inspired. Uh, like I'm loving the shape. I'm using all number, I want to say fives and sixes on my nails. I'm liking a very slim tapered nail. Y'all are going to see on this right hand, I have um, a Gucci spring nail set coming up. I think those are all sixes, the whole set. Um, because they're also tips as well. And those, I'm doing a, a beginner foil acrylic. Well, I guess you could say it's foils encapsulated in acrylic. I've never done that. So I, I am late, but I have been trying new techniques and I came back with stuff I had not done. I just didn't want to come back and be like, hey y'all, I've been gone for two weeks and here goes something I already did in different colors. No, I was gone. Um, I had different content and I came back with different nails. And also... Is it me or has Prime not been priming lately? Okay, all of my shipping is delayed. My stuff from Timu has been delayed, which is where this, um, I guess you would call it iridescent bits came from. This like a little ice that I put in, on, in, on the nail and then I put 
clear coat, you're gonna see it. Now you might not be able to see it as well here, but again, this is stuff that I bought and I'm not using. I'm not using, so before it goes bad, it's sitting on my shelf, I'd rather use it and see how it works and say if I liked it, didn't like it, then just let it sit on my shelf and go bad. Those two and three dollars add up, girl. So I have had this, I don't know how many months, girl, and I put it on here and I was like, yes, it's giving a little bit of something, something, so that even if I didn't want to bling, look at that, look at that. I still think I'm gonna like, <laughs> like the matte better. But if you are a shiny nail girl, you know, inspo for you i want to give you this is juicy okay this is a juicy set and then the next set will be like a matte easter pastel set that's kind of what we'll do with the same set of nails and that's true nail inspiration okay but anyway i had all this stuff and i was like girl i want to try so many things that i got in my nail picture folder thing you know in my inspo folder myself that I had not tried and I'm like girl why you ain't trying it honey go on and try it and see and just see what happens and since I've been gone and I came and I needed a video to come back to I was like nah I gotta bring my girl something good I gotta bring them something they definitely have not seen me do they might have done it already but I haven't done it yet and then I got to the point where I needed to bling it so now that I've got these Frenchy ombre nails okay with the the cuticle bed girl all them te techniques in there i decided i wanted to go with the carousel theme for the bling because all of the colors pastel wise all week if i left this matte this really probably would have really popped off it really 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 popped off but it was kind of like merging the sorbet with the carousel theme so if you notice um the ring finger got super decadent because carousels are decadent like there's so much detail and it's so much extra but i was like i don't want to go overboard and cover up all of the work so i went ahead and i just went overboard on this one nail and what i'm trying to do here is give like a carousel vibe so you see a lot of um caviar beads in different colors bling from timu all of this is from timu and then I put in, you'll see a horse from a carousel on this nail. There you go. There you go. Look at him. Look at him. Let's name him. What is it? Is she? Let me know in the comments what we're going to name my horse. Anyway, I was like, okay, girl. Like, it was giving girly. It was giving frilly. It was giving uh, eyelid white sundress and a picnic lunch okay with a little bit of maybe a little scarf some sunglasses some flat sandals you know it was giving i'm ready for spring and no drama i'm just here for a good time girl and that's why i'm so happy with how i have toned myself down because girl i'm extra i'm extra i've been doing so good okay i have not been crazy in at least at least four and a half months and that's a record that's a record for me baby i am proud of myself the changes i have made in my life y'all back in the gym just alert oriented and excited and happy look at this bling it's giving faberge easter egg um carousel like all of it but my, but then the rest of it is calm you see how it's like it's chill out girl have a good time but don't party too hard and that's what i hope y'all been doing I hope y'all have been having a good time, but not partying too hard. Speaking of parties, birthday shout outs to Brie Creations. I think she has a birthday this month that has already passed and happens to be Momo Nails, Momo's Nails, Momo Nails Creations. <laughs> I cannot talk. I don't have no water or nothing out here to do my voiceover. Tragic. Uh, happy birthday, Momo and Brie. Um, it is their birthday month, ladies. I've seen y'all nails. Brie just did some really cute spring nails with flowers on them. Um, I was Brie be in my head so hard because I was actually going to do dotted flowers. Because you know, Brie, Brie, you know I can't do no 3D beads. It is a wrap. Every time I've tried to do a 3D flower, <laughs> you'll never see it until I get there. Just know that. <laughs> it ain't happening, girl. The first bead, let me know every time. Try again. I was going to do it with the dotting tool and Brie just put out some nails like that so she's gonna be um nail inspo coming up but if you want to see some nails also on the 
on the spring um just light friendly girly nails momo and brie go see them shout them out say happy birthday to the ladies they have been with me since i got on youtube and i've been with them i have not seen anybody really like that in their comments but i have seen y'all because i'm stalking y'all okay i'm a silent stalker doesn't mean that i don't know what's happening if you dm me right now say candy did you i will i will know everything i just didn't have time to comment to let you know i was there trust me i know everything i just been busy girl i just been busy like you know just date nights be you know uh coming and and i don't have like you know y'all remember when i started youtube a year ago and i had no life Ain't, ain't God good Ain't God good I be missing y'all But I remember the days Where I would sit in my house And be like Lord I wish I could just go out With a friend And go to brunch And just have a good time And be happy And, I'm, and now that I'm, I'm, I'm out of that space girl So I enjoy being outside I enjoy y'all I miss y'all I do have some content coming up I'm waiting on shipments Thank you to everybody Who Who would have thought Candy is a T-Moo partner let me tell you don't let nobody on youtube tell you what you cannot do because i am doing big shit with all 680 of y'all thank y'all so much for being here supporting with me staying with me sticking with me even if y'all don't see me in the comments just thank y'all so much for being a part of my channel i cannot wait for my shipments to come in because girl we got some more content but i wanted to give y'all some genuine nail content I hope you enjoyed this video. If this video, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will answer them. If I didn't answer them in this video, y'all know I ain't good at instructions. Y'all know that's not my forte to be teaching nobody nothing. I'm just showing you what I did and then you can, you can modify on your own. But yeah, I'm liking these matte again. And also, I think something's up with my lighting. It's just like these, it, it, in the lighting on the film, they look one way. And then in person, you know, because they're pastels. And pastels do not always film well. If you know YouTube and you've done your nails and pastels, tell me if you've had this problem where your pastels look good, but on camera, you're like, Ugh, I can't really, I can't really translate. The best thing I can tell you is go look at my community page and that's what they look like in person and get ready to see the short with the different bling matte nails with this ombre Frenchie. Thank you so much to Portia Nailed It for inspiring me. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. You're having, I hope you're having a great day, a great night, a great morning, a great everything. Thank you so much, YouTube. Have a wonderful evening. Well, why would I say evening? Girl, what kind of closing is this? This is what happens when you don't kind of work in two weeks. Y'all, whenever you watch this, the day that you're watching it, the day after that and the day after that, I hope you have a great one.